Hi everybody, my name is Chris Gialfa and I am the Woodwind Product Manager at the Dario. We're coming at you from our New York City showroom and I'm here with my good friend, Richie Hawley. Richie was principal clarinetist at the Cincinnati Symphony and is currently professor of clarinet at Rice University in Texas. How are you, Richie? Great, doing great today. Richie, there has been a lot of discussion, of course, on mouthpiece and reed pairing. What works, what doesn't work. Is there anything that you could share that can help someone really find the right combination of the two? Absolutely. Uh, a close facing mouthpiece is generally a free blowing device. It blows much freer than a open mouthpiece, which some would say is, is more resistant. So I want to put a reed on it that is a little bit more resistant. So what does that mean? That means a reed three and a half plus, four, four plus. And in essence, we have a free blowing mouthpiece and a more resistant reed. It's a perfect partnership. Now, on an open-facing mouthpiece, I'll have a resistance in the mouthpiece by the nature of it being an open mouthpiece, so I will need a more free-blowing reed to accommodate for it. So that strength, two and a half, three, three and a half, anywhere in there, and that, again, makes a perfect partnership. The two will have a very similar feel. On one end of the, the spectrum, the close facing mouthpiece, the resistance is in the reed. And on an open facing mouthpiece, the resistance is in the mouthpiece. By pairing correctly the right reed with the right mouthpiece, you get an ease of playing across the entire range of the X0, X5, and X10.